Hello, welcome to another video in the series on how to use CNC Write. This video will go into the details of the append modes and settings. The append modes make it possible to create complex engraving jobs in a single file. The append settings are set automatically when an append mode is selected. And the append mode is automatically set when the append settings are changed. To understand what the append settings do, we need to take a look at the machine tab. On that tab, there are four text windows pre tool change, tool change, post tool change, and post engrave. If the right pre engrave checkbox is checked, the first three of those text windows is written to the file before any of the G codes for the engraving. If the right post engrave checkbox is checked, after the G codes are written, the contents of the fourth text window is written to the file. When append mode single engrave operation is selected, both checkboxes in append settings will be checked. If a file with the same name exists, when the file is written, it will ask if you want to overwrite that file. It will then replace that file with the new one. When append mode start new engrave job is selected, only the first append settings checkbox is checked. Otherwise, it behaves just like the first mode and will replace existing files. When append mode append to engrave job is selected, neither of the checkboxes in append settings are checked. When the engraving G codes are written to a file, it assumes the file already exists and adds the G codes to the end of that file. When append mode close engrave job is selected, only the second checkbox in append settings is selected. Again, when the engraving G codes are written to a file, it assumes the file already exists and appends the G codes to the end of that file. Let's try an example that would normally require three files. Changing the text height to 0 0.3, width ratio to 0 0.9, spacing ratio to 0 0.926, selecting the simplex font, changing justification to center with justification point at xy 0 comma negative 0 0.15. I'll use append mode start new engrave job to engrave the text CNC write from the freeform text tab that will be saved to the file CNC write logo. Switching to the ellipse text tab, I'll engrave the text linear and rotary with a height of 0.15 inches and a width ratio of 1.3 centered on the point B clockwise around the ellipse that is 2.25 inches by 1 inch with its center at XY0. With the append mode set to append engrave job, I'll add this to the same file. To close out this job, I'll change the width ratio to 1.45, set the append mode to close engrave job, and engrave axis engraving centered on the point D counterclockwise around the same ellipse as before, and save to the same file. In case it wasn't obvious, I did a lot of experimenting to come up with all of those settings. Now let's go to the NC Viewer website to see what that looks like. You can experiment with all of these settings by downloading CNC Write and using the website ncviewer.com. Just remember the limitations of the free trial that are described in the intro video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. I will be posting another video soon that will go into details on the circle and ellipse text tabs.
If you need to know more before the videos are finished, you can find explanations of all the fields by clicking on the different parts of the image on the screenshots page of the website at cncright.com. Until next time.